So this is how I added a light to my GoPro Hero 5. Um, I 3D designed this and um, my GoPro goes into it and then I have a option to use a battery and then I have an option to plug it into a 12 volt DC AC to DC um, power source. Um, it, it could, anything, anything that's 12 volts it, it, it can handle. So this is what it looks like with the GoPro in it. And it's, it's sturdy, it's not going to come out easy. And for me, for my uses, it's going to be on a tripod anyway, so it shouldn't be coming out anyways. Um, but yeah, uh, now to the build. Alright, this is the build portion of the GoPro Hero 5 Lite. Um, what I did first was sand down all these edges where the GoPro is going to be sitting in. That way it's nice and smooth and you're not scratching up your GoPro. Um, I'm using this light. This is 12 volt LED ring, 40 millimeters. Uh, the reason why I am using this light is because this is what I had available. I already had this uh, from uh, two of these from previous projects. so. Um, but I'll leave a file where you can make your own custom uh, light portion of it um, for whichever light you get. Uh, you're going to need what I am, how, how this is going to work is I'll have a 12 volt battery and that these things are actually relatively cheap. Um, you can find them on Amazon. I got like a I don't know, I'll leave the link. I think it was a 12 pack for $4, and that's not that bad. Now, if you run the light on the battery, the, uh, I tested and it's about 50 to 55 minutes of continuous light. Um, but that wasn't gonna be enough for me, so I'm gonna have just a regular switch that goes back and forth. And one will be battery, and then one's gonna be um, 12 volt power. And that's why I have this that's going to be in here. And so if I don't have a power source near, I can use the battery. But if I have a power source near, then this will just be in here. And then I can plug in a 12 volt power source. Um, and then this will just alternate from battery to power. And if power is not plugged in, that will be the off for the battery. Okay, so to get started with this build is I'm going to go ahead and place the light in first and I'm going to place the wires through this groove right here. There's one. And then through this groove and then the positive wire through the groove. There's two. And pull it all the way through. Uh, try not to get knotted. Alright, right there. And now I'm going to continue to put the wires through this bottom box por portion. Alright, there's one. And it should be tight. There's two. So the, the wires go down nice and smooth. And so that's the light portion. So how this switch is going to work is in the center part of this switch is the light uh, is going to be soldered onto it. And then one side is going to be the battery positive. So one side's going to be the battery positive, and the other side is going to be the outlet power. 
Um, and then negative is just, all the negatives are just gonna be connected together because we can do it that way. And so what I'm gonna do is take this positive wire and stick it through here. Just like that, so then I could just solder it outside the 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 area. Next, this this wire is really long, so I'm gonna have to trim it down. How the, how I design this is, you just push it in, and you're gonna kind of meet up with the hole, and so then you got the power outlet where it's out. Make sure it's nice and flush, and then it pushes down, and these two uh, plastic hold will hold it down. Um, and then to get a good measurement, I'm just going to kind of just estimate where I want to cut it. That's that. Now, these wires are really long too. And how this is going to work is I'm going to glue this back part to this part. So it'll be glued just like this. But first, I'm going to just get my wires right where I want them. So right there. Okay, so now I have my wires exactly to the length that I want them to be. And so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the, the switch now. So I'm gonna take all these positives and put all the positives out here. Now one thing you can do is you can take out this battery, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and take it out. So you can see it's just a tiny little 12 volt battery. Uh, all right, so now I have all positives. Now that I have all positives out, I'm just gonna go ahead and just add solder to the wires real quick. Okay, so now we got solder to all the wires. And so here is our switch again. So again, the center is gonna be where power for the light is gonna go which is this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. Just put it in the loop, bend it down. Call that good and then just solder it in place. Okay, so again, light in the center, battery on the right, and then I have uh, the, the power outlet on the left. And then I'm just gonna push all these wires through. And then it should be really snug. And there we go. So it's in there nice and tight. Now the negative wire, I'm just gonna take all three negatives and I'm just gonna wrap them all together.
and then I'm just going to solder them all together. So I have shrink wrap that I'm just going to place on top of these negative wires. And close it. All right. And so that's the wiring. Now I'm just going to glue down uh, the light and then I'm going to glue down this battery portion and then I'll get the wires into this box. Okay, before I put the cover on, I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in. And test out the battery. Battery works. And so now to test the, the 12 volts uh, power source, let's say we have any type of power adapter. It doesn't matter as long as it's 12 volts and then let's get our 12 volts up and now we have power so and 12 volt power is working then unplug it it's off battery off and then 12 volts So now that it's it's been tested, I'm probably going to just add a little dab of glue where this plug goes in. And I'll make sure that's staying. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll add this cover in. And what I did was just put the screw. So right here is so the battery cover goes in and clips into here so you want that you want this little hole area located towards uh, your battery okay right so we got our screw in just clips on so the taller part will go towards the white and so that clips in guards the battery and then when you need to when you need to change out the battery you just open this up and you have access to the battery and then you can change the battery like that so yeah this is the build for this and now to do some tests all right here's the test of the light so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on as you can see it actually helps out a lot.